All right, guys, so we just took a quick detour with the vlog here. So we just ended up in Calgary. We're going to check out this car show called Midnight Rev Up. It's been around for a few years, and the show gets better and better. So let's go check it out, see what's here, and uh, let's see what we can find. All right, so it's right when we walk in the door, of course, R34. This car always has a, part, like, a place in my heart. Just For some reason, I just can't get one at the moment right now. Maybe sometime in the future, but yeah. Absolute gorgeous car. Got many of these in Canada. They're not as rare as in the States, but nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So up next, there's uh, Mark Jinkle's FL5 spoon theme. He's got the uh, exhaust, loving the wheels, you guys. I really dig these. At first, I didn't, I don't know, in pictures, I didn't really like them, but in person, they're absolutely gorgeous, you guys. For me, I would've just went with the uh, spoon lug nuts to match look at what this guy's a baller right for carl's division auto imports brought these in for him absolutely gorgeous i don't know a little aggressive for me but to all their own i guess right but big money do dig the yellow the yellow is yeah it's growing on me for sure and the, i don't know the in the camera, the, the yellow is a little more deeper. This is a little more yellow on the, the lighter side in person. Of course, he jumped the gun, got the uh, spoon lip here. Can you guys tell the difference? Let me know in the comments below if you guys can tell or tell me what's the difference between that one and a spoon lip. Let me know. All right, all right. So this is probably my favorite car of the show actual genuine type r this head this valve cover is really hard to get right now too well not hard to get but starting to become very hard to get so if you're looking for a b-series valve cover from the actual jdm or japan now is the time to get it right now all right guys so i just wanted to mention look which ones would you guys choose the integros egs Look at this, this is, this is absolutely clean. This one too. Or would you take an EK Type R? What's your favorite? I think this is my favorite here, but there's one more car that I kind of want to mention and it's way in, over in the crowd there, but it's an actual, it's an older Prelude. I was walking around and checking it out and I just noticed that there's one car over there with a personal license plate. Then I noticed that there's like almost like a whole theme here. Calgary has some kind of like personal license plate thing going on. So let me just show you a couple of them. Tell me which one's your favorite. All right, you guys, so this one caught my eye. It's Chashu, which is pretty cool, obviously, on a fat BMW. Well, Wendy, get out of the way. <laughs> Look at this one. Integra Dilo R. And we got this one over here. I don't really know what this means. And then we got EG6. Roll. Okay. This is kind of unique. Not a 2J, of course, for a Supra. I don't know what this means. But look at this one. Bento box. And then let's go over here. Maybe we got this one, CRX. Old school CRX. And we're going to go over here. 
I think this is the coolest one. Okay, let me know in the comments below what comes to mind when you first see this one. And I'll tell you what it is. If you're Chinese, you will know what it is. Why he did that is to get, he just tricked the DMV. So it's real. It's like, you, you think it's Poke Bowl guys, but it's not. It's, I'll explain you when I get into the car. All right, you guys, so you can see I'm back in the shop now. I tried vlogging last night, but just no go. I was like Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. If you guys watch that movie, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so the car is just, it's absolutely fantastic on the highway or on the freeway. Absolutely just amazing car. Suspension dialed in and just, mm. But there's only one thing I hate about road trips, especially at nighttime. You guys, it is brutal. Like all over the front end. So now I have to go and clean it all up and just look at that. Just like, oh man, it's just big mess. Lots of mosquitoes, this is what you're seeing. Look at this. All right, anyways, hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. It's just, yeah, but there's one thing is, uh, is almost, have you ever had a time where you almost get to your destination and then boom, something happens? That's what happened to me last night. So like, I was just maybe 30 kilometers out and to the car show and heard a rock. Well, I saw it coming flying at the car and, and then we got one right there. It's, 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 it's massive too, you guys. Heartbreaking. Ugh. Here, you can see it better. Right there. Let me put my hand on it. I don't know if I can focus here. Right there, if you can see better. Massive, it's a big one. Yeah, there you go, massive. So, luckily at the shop, I have a repair kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So since we're on the topic of windshields and then obviously you guys are probably wondering if you should have put a paint protection film on or some kind of protective film. I was going to, but I just didn't have any film in stock. There's a big shortage of it. Uh, two, you're probably wondering if it's gonna run or crack, you're gonna have to replace it. So tip of the day, thank you, Mark Jinko. Uh, he's the owner of the yellow FL5 uh, that was at the show. He said he got a chip or a crack in the first like first couple days of owning it so what he said was these winches are really expensive i know i i saw on the forum there some guy got the same thing he replaced it and it was like three thousand dollars or something like that it's really expensive for a honda civic believe it or not there is a type r tax you guys for this windshield let's say three grand whatever roughly around there you can get the exact same windshield well not a, let me explain to the end you can get a base model or si honda civic 11th gen windshield it will fit the only thing you have to do is buy it with the rain sensor. That's the key. You gotta buy it with the rain, rain sensor, which goes right here. You'll see like a little window for the, uh, the sensor. So what you do is, Marcus is saying, cause he already did it with his, so it's proven, it's, it works. It's a third of the price, but all you do is you take black paint or like vinyl, vinyl over that window and you, won't, you can't see it. Unless you're really, really particular, you'll see like a little, like the little outline of where the window is. The main thing, the reason why you have to get that is Mark was telling me this won't clip in if you get the, um, the one with no rain sensor. It, it, this, it won't allow this to clip in. So you need to get one with the rain sensor and you'll save yourself like almost two grand. He said it's a, it's a third of the price. So there you go. You learn something new every day. I think I would try it unless you're really, really particular and you're gonna spend more than, more than three grand on the actual Type R window. There you go. All right, so the secret of, of like a clean fill that you don't see the lines after you fill it up is uh, basically you gotta get it taped up or not, the, uh, not ha to have the, like the chip or the hole uh, exposed to the weather or let water get into it because that'll prevent the um, sealant or whatever to flow into the, uh, the all the cracks, so that's key. So let me get this done, and I'll be right back to you guys, and then sh I'll show you guys the result. All right, so the rock chip is getting filled right now. This is on a Sunday, you guys. We're uh, I'm at my shop, and it is kind of nice. 
So hopefully the, this will prevent it from uh, running and stuff, but it looks pretty good so far. Yeah, Cause this, this rock chip was massive. But while we let it sit, I'm gonna show you something. So uh, I was in the Brid booth this year at the, uh, um, the car show and uh, Gerald asked me to help him all bring, bring some stuff back from the show. So how many bucket seats or Brid seats do you think we can fit inside here? Not just bucket seats, but child seats too. Any guess? Watch. Let me show you. We got one baby seat or whatever this thing is. Booster, booster. Two. Three. We got one bucket seat. Two bucket seat. Three bucket seat. Look at this nice carbon fiber too. And one full rec recliner. Right. Spark go back. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty crazy, man. That's a lot of seats. This thing is massive. You can literally just lay right in there. I could have, well, I was pretty tired of the show. I could have just laid in there and slept. Amazing. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much all done with the rock chip. It's not the greatest. I wish it could be better, but it's better than replacing the whole windshield for $3,000. Here we go. That's it. Hopefully the camera can capture it. All right, guys, so just want to talk about that uh, custom license plate on one of the cars there. Poke guy. If you say it in English, it's like Pokeball, Pokeball guy. But I think he intended to say it in Chinese. And when you say it in Chinese, it's Pokai. Uh, or hopefully I'm saying it right because I, I, I hear it all the time on my in-law side but if you say it it's actually pretty bad if you call it's like almost calling somebody like asshole or it's some kind of negative word and it's you shouldn't be saying it but I think that's what it's meant uh, if the owner of the car is watching uh, chime in let me know if that's what you, it was intended or was it actually like am, am I totally off or wrong on it if it's just pokey guy if you just love if you love Pokeballs, <laughs> but that's pretty much my take on it. Wendy said the same thing. I asked her, what, what do you see? What's the first thing that comes in mind? She said, Pokai. So if you're Chinese, that's what it is. All right, so that's pretty much for this week's vlog. And uh, yeah, you're right. I did kind of tease you guys at the beginning of the vlog here with a uh, time lapse of us installing a brand new exhaust system that I've been waiting for like almost half a year, half a year for it. It finally came in and absolutely gorgeous. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll show you guys the whole process and us installing it. You guys, we won't be disappointed. See you guys in next week's vlog. See ya. It's, it's amazing. Well worth the wait.